in the Trump car. In other words, they're not going racist or ridiculous, you know, with his, his rhetoric. But I'm talking about as in, people are getting into office, offices to screw systems up and get as much money as they can out of the system, you know, until this term or this presidential term is over. You get what I'm saying? So they, they, they're following the same game plan. I mean, you can see it. It's, they're not hiding it. And, and everything is televised. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, let's purposely undo all of this. Let's do this. Let's do that. I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, we had one president telling one dude to tear down a wall. This president wants to build one. You know what I mean? We tell him this is a free country. We accept all nationalities, but you're trying to ban people of certain religions. You know what I mean? So, and it's just like, you know, you're undoing everything that America stood for. And these people are getting hit to this game like that. Um, they're getting hit to this game, and they're doing the same exact thing. So now you got people who are, you know, let's spend less money, let's make more workers do more stuff. Like, even though they just hired a bunch of casuals now, but this is after, what, nine years? They laid off all the casuals. Who do you think was doing the work? We were. You think they paid us double for that? You know what I mean? You know, so, and then they want to complain about how much overtime that we were getting. You know, it's just like, yo, dude, there's no winning. But that's what I see this happening right now, is everybody's taking the Trump's car. We're, all right, fine. We're in office. Let's grab as much as we can and fill our pockets up with as much as we can. So when they kick us out, oh, well, we're well off for the next 20 some odd years or 50 years until Republicans take over the House again. Remember the last time with the Great Depression. We'll see what happens this time. This time it's gonna be the damn apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's what I was talking about, a friend of mine about. You can just see it, it's, it's, it's clear cut. But um, you know, and, and like I said, and you, that's why you have a lot of people now fighting for unions because they're getting screwed up, you know, screwed out of things. Like you have people who were here for 10 years as a casual. How, how are you 10 years not getting any benefits or anything? Like, you know, I mean, you know, and workers that get laid off after every certain term, you know what I mean? They have to keep getting rehired. This way you can prevent them from getting their jobs and benefits and full hours. Like, people ain't got lives and bills and kids, you know what I mean? And then you're gonna want, your, you're gonna want these employees' kids to go here, right? You know, come on, man. Slap in the face, left and right, like, you know? And they, you know, like I said, they bend over and tell people to kiss their ass. I got a bigger ass. I look at it, but like I said, nobody got to, you know, you ain't got to necessarily agree, just look, and then and then disagree, I dare you to try, you know, and try to disagree, and I see a lot of companies doing that right now, and they're not downsizing, they're literally, it's, it's, uh, instead of like, for example, you buy a product for a dollar, you sell this product to someone else for two dollars, that's how you, you know, make profit, but instead of trying to buy things for a dollar, make a hundred dollar dollar, you know what I mean, and it's, not working, and then they're, they're complaining and wondering why they don't want to pay people, and then they wonder why the economy is so bad. You know, nobody has any money. You know what I mean? You're bailing banks out, and these billionaires in Wall Street. You know what I mean? Bail out the American people. You know, like I got always said, like one thing is the one thing they never do. They'll never do for people like me is reparations. And but they don't understand it. But the first thing they'll tell you is the black people are the, the biggest consumers. Really? So you mean to tell me you won't just give these people the trillions you owe us and their mule and their acres? And you, you don't think they'll spend this money right back into the economy? It'll, it'll probably jumpstart it. I mean, Obama did pretty good with that stimulus package, but it wasn't enough. You know what I mean? I think it's like $1.3 trillion to give every single person in America $5,000. We spent $3 trillion on a war and then tripled the price of oil. That was great, you know? As I said, it's, 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 they're trolling us. They're trolling us, you know? They're seriously off. Well, I was gonna interject about, I was gonna say, it's, payroll is the biggest headache for them. They resent paying you. Well, they, resent, they resent paying you regular fare, let alone. Yeah, like uh, I said, just, yeah. Um, build robots, or don't complain, or do the work yourself. You know, that's what I said, you, you know, sometimes these things kind of hit a little closer to home to certain people. Like, for example, I'm black. Now, you've heard the whole cliche thing, well, black people are lazy, really? So you went all the way across the world to go find some people to build this fucking country for you, and you got the audacity to say that they're lazy? <laughs> Damn, irony is a bitch. You know? Well, it's also the part of, like, 
they resent your like no we're the awesome ones we're the ones who are ever seen that scene uh, scene in Geronimo we had a scene where you mean a documentary of it the, no it was uh, like the 1990s movies the dramatization oh no 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 no, no. I, I was into the real thing the Geronimo okay. whole, you know skull and bones and all of that and I didn't I didn't see any movie about it well they have a scene where Geronimo comes up upon this camp of people mining mm-hmm. and they're just schlubs like uh, they come over to like take the gold out of the land mm-hmm. of course it's sacred land and Geronimo comes, comes upon him he's like okay I'm gonna kill you and one guy's crying but another guy's like screw you they're gonna kill you anyway and he gets in his face he's like you had nothing till we got here nothing we were built this country you're just a bunch of savages to say it. Really? so he, then he shoots, really? he so shoots who, who, everyone who taught, else but him I'm about to say who, who taught the people who came over here how to hunt they came over here starving man these Native Americans fed them showed them how to you know how to fish you know and then they overdid it you know and, and they didn't live over nature they lived off this, this artificial reality we live in you know well, whole attitude is like, we did something, you're not worthy. We are the ones who built this company, you're not worthy, all that kind of stuff. Like, they're talking about also, you know, the union, the students trying to unionize, but the president of Yale is waiting for the Trump, the president, to overturn the union rules they agreed to in the first place. Well, let's just say this. I don't wish any bad things upon anybody, but people are done with the bullshit. They're done with the bullshit. I say it all the time. You see me post a picture of it. America is a country sitting on a beam over an edge. The people are holding that person over that edge, standing on that beam. Just walk the fuck off. Let this place collapse up under itself. The people will survive. When the government shut down, did you feel anything? I didn't feel a thing. I got paid. My bills were paid. I went to work. Everything was great. You know, you might have had some people who might have been out of work or whatever the case may be, but um. You know, at the same time, like I said, this, people are done. People are done. Now, you, you want to keep going to war with all these people around the world and stuff like that, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, I can't wait to see the day that American people rush the White House. That's the only way these people are going to get it, you know, get it correct. You know, a comedian said the same thing, too. He said, if people started going up in here chopping some head off in the White House, they'd be like, put the money back, put the money back. Real quick, here they come, they're coming, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, you know. Uh, that was uh, Paul Mooney who, who had that joke, which is, makes a whole lot of sense to me, you know, like I said, but, you know. The only, uh, well, what about that attitude they resent the workers? Like, they resented paying you overtime. Of course, uh, you know, like I said, uh, instead of paying me, like, a, a, if I would have to cover somebody who's a, another 40-hour worker, they, they're supposed to give you four hours a day for that. But what they try to do now is give you two hours and then give somebody else two hours. And, and, it, and it's not really bad because now everybody eats, but at the same time, you're still doing more for two hours less. You know, I still got my eight-hour job to do, too. You know what I mean? So now you still want me to cover this person's eight-hour job in two hours, not four. You know, so like I said, it, it went from penny pinching to dollar snatching, you know? And, and next thing you know, I'm like, dude, what do you want? Our checks, too? You just want everybody to come in here work for free? It's not going to happen. Get over it. It it ain't never going to happen. Get over it. It's slavery. ain't never coming back. Get over that, too. So, you know, it it just ain't going to work, man. You got to find a better way. Obviously, the the same rut you keep running in is never going to work. You know, all of of the world just agree that we're we're, uh, tearing this planet up. Our dumbass president said, no, we're going back to coal. You know, you can make America great again by not going backwards. You know what I mean? I mean, because how far back do you need to go? I mean, you go back, okay, let's go back to coal. Let's see, let's go digging in gold. You know, let's go, go in the mountains dig for gold. It's not there anymore, right? Let's, uh, you know, bring back segregation, too. You know, why not? You know, fuck it. Let's make America the way it used to be. That, that's what the slogan should have been. If you want to make America great again, it's to, to be the front runners, the innovators, the builders, the designers, the thinkers. You know what I mean? We were always... Not the greatest country in the world, you know what I mean? But we got some, the greatest people from different countries all over the world in this country. We 
know what I'm saying? So that's what people got to really realize. And, and because they're here, we need to utilize that. And like I said, put the best foot forward. We were, America always tried to be ahead of the game. And a lot of things, they were just kind of fake. Like, you know, you want to race to the moon. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, I'm, I'm with Neil deGrasse Tyson. I, I bet you will want to go to every planet in the damn solar system if you find out that there was something of value there. Well, you don't know until you get there, correct? You can only do so much testing from this rock. That's going to die in a little while. So why are you trying to suck all of the world up for all of its money and get everything you can? That's the reason why, because they're going to die and they don't care. I'm leaving this for my kids. No, you're going to leave a, 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 a landfill for your kids and their grandkids. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's, it's a wrap, man. America, like I said, humans are parasites and it's over. I'm, like I said, America's done. I don't know why I haven't stuck a fork in it yet, but America's been done. We just keep playing along with it. Like, we're just gonna hold this one brick up to make it seem like we're still here. Not that damn brick over. This shit is over. Everything needs to be torn up and rewritten. I don't care about no damn declaration of independence. I don't care about none of that. You know what I mean? It's, 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 the, the reason why is all that stuff is so outdated. Hundreds of years outdated. So we're overdue for a whole. Like I said, after evolution, revolution. talking about a real one, but like I said, marching ain't gonna help, boycotting and picketing ain't gonna help, you know what I mean? So it's just like, well, what people really need to do is to stop jumping in these facades and these fake holidays, going out to rush and buy stuff, you know, when they want to sell stuff. Yeah, we're, you know, come buy a new car for President's Day sale, a President's Day sale, you know, Black Friday, you know what I mean? Stupid, stupid stuff. And then, you know, they depend on people for that. But if people stop, you know, People need to learn to say no. Stop just taking a little scrap and being thankful for that. Well, this is all they have. You don't have to accept it. You know what I mean? Stop accepting the BS. And, that's, and, that, and that, that kills me. You know? If you got to do like Donald Trump did, to push people out the fucking way so you can stand in there, that's what the hell you do. Even if it's Trump himself, you got to get pushed out the way. No, because they're doing it on camera. So like I said, it's, it's, it's about time where you start, you know, people don't like the word fire with fire because everything burn up. Well, in order for new things to happen, it must burn up. I'm sorry, this is over.